thing with the other bands gigging and stuff and then their band fell apart and then they they were auditioning for a bassist online yeah. searching for a bassist online so uh they they managed to get barry on board who's my brother and uh he when they come back to practice after an unsuccessful day of auditioning guitarists as well they come back to my house and barry says i'll get my brother in well you took it took uh, a few Goes from the actually say about you. Yeah, he was yeah, a bit he apprehensive. Did. He didn't want to be in a band with his brother. Who would? Because we know what can happen. But um, yeah, he went to this guy's house, auditioned him. He was absolute muck. So then um, Barry said, my brother plays guitar. And then we were in the garage going over the... Ch yeah. I wrote a few new songs. Few what new ones. I, for the thought it would be good for like a new band. And then he Vince walked in. And it's Jack Jones gear. James Darlay forever. <laughs> and it was love at first sight, really. My mum actually got this DVD. This is quite this is quite bizarre. She got this DVD of Frank Sinatra, and featured on Frank's on the Frank Sinatra DVD was a, a, a drum solo from a guy called Buddy Rich. And uh, she called me up this and showed me this and she goes, Are you thinking about playing an instrument? And I said, Yeah. And she goes, Well take a look at this. And I watched this drum solo and you know, just jaw hit the floor and it was pretty unbelievable. And I knew from then on I wanted to play drums. Our mm. music is life changing. It's gonna change people's lives, it's gonna change music. Simple Vince, as that. What it, what change the history say? of music. I was gonna say we try and sort of, we're inspired by older music, but we're making it modern yeah. and trying to make the sound bigger and uplifting. We're part of the evolution of music, of rock and roll. We're taking old sounds, making them bigger, better. Rock and roll's dead, so we're gonna bring it back. I write the songs in the house on the acoustic, bring them down. No, know they're going to be good already, so they don't actually have to say. I don't want that, they'll like it anyway. And then we we'll start just going through a bit by a bit, start with the drums, build it up, bass, the guitar. Or sometimes I go to Vince's house and go over the song on the acoustic and he'll come up with the riffs. We try and work on like melodies for guitars and bass and that to see if it sort of fits the mood of the song and see if it all goes And make together. sure each, each person's part, obviously, you know, fits and, and complements. And, else's. and then once we actually finalise it and everything, sometimes it even gets changed afterwards. Uh, what got me into music was uh, my dad was a, a guitarist, there was always like, guitars lying around my house and uh, he used to play his old records and stuff and that really got me into it. So I picked up his guitar when I was a kid and I haven't looked back since. We keep each other, sort of? In That's the true. Yeah. We, we sort of bounce off ourselves as yeah. well. When Phil brings a new song to the practice, like, one of us might throw out an idea and that would sort of inspire everyone else to sort of follow that and, and go with and it. And obviously our family and friends, you know, yeah. they obviously sort of say, you know, keep at it. We've played gigs all over the place. I mean, Liverpool. Liverpool, we've been London. To, we've done uh, stuff in London. I think people are more more sort of enthusiastic about new bands as opposed to seeing in all line where sometimes the turnout for gigs isn't great at all. Yeah. But if, I suppose if you're in a part of a clique, or if, if you're a famous band from Belfast, you'll get a lot of support. Yeah, look, yeah. And that, that's, that's in a way is a good thing. Since we've recorded the new, the two new songs. Things are starting to pick up plastic people. Pick and the Wire, that's got us a lot more recognition. And we're all getting better musicians as well. Yeah, tighter. The songs, even the ones yeah. we haven't got recorded yeah. in the and last in, year. Individually as well. Yeah. Like, we're understanding what, what is required of a song. I'd like to see the band, you know, on tour for the next two years. In the next two years, I'd like to see us playing Glastonbury all the big festivals. In the next two years, I'd like people to be able to recognise us individually in the street from being in the band, instead of just like a yeah. front man. If you're that well known, you'll, know, but you'll be known individually. I'd like to see that happen. Two years is well enough time for us to see ourselves. Yeah. We've you know. got the songs. 